Hi, I'm Claire Pelletro, and I'm about to give you a tour of the only features of the Facebook Power Editor that you actually need to build great ads very quickly. But first I want to address the one question I hear all the time, which is why do I need to use the Power Editor if I already know how to make ads with the regular interface? The answer is simple. It's all about speed. You're about to see the areas where you can shave off a ton of time so that you can get your ads up and running and you can see what's working, see what needs to be tweaked and get real results. So let's dive into this puppy and see what you can do. Okay, so we could literally spend about an hour going through everything you can and need to do in the power editor in order to make every ad you can imagine, but I want to give you the absolute must knows about the power editor so that you can take that and later build upon your knowledge. So let's go through some of the power editor lingo. First, what you need to know is download to power editor. You need to do this pretty much every time you come in here for the first time in a day or half a day. Choose your account and download all the posts, status updates, things you'll need to make an ad. A lot of times people have a hard time figuring out where to actually start an ad. So I just click on recent campaigns, then come up here to campaigns, create campaign. And that's where you type in the name and the budget, things like that. Then to actually get some ads created in that campaign, I come over here, I click on the campaign I just created under recent campaigns. Then I click on ads. I don't have any ads because I just created it. So I click on create ad. This is more or less the same interface as what you would use to make ads outside of the power editor but it's just split up into a couple different screens. So you give your ad a name. I use very specific naming that I've come up with in my own purposes, but whatever works for you, go right ahead. Here you've got the same objectives that you have. Website conversions, for me that means signups to a newsletter or purchases. And then here is where you choose which Facebook page you actually want to pull your photos or status updates from. This right here, create new unpublished post, is the holy grail of the power editor because if you don't know how to use this, then you can only create ads, like the ads that show up like organic Facebook page posts, you can only create those from what you've already posted on your Facebook page. And that's still an option, but this is the way to get things moving a lot faster and to just get creative and make lots of changes and have different alternatives for your ad. So you could upload a photo, put the text right here. I make sure to always include a call to action with a link for them to click on because Ultimately, I'm trying to drive traffic to my website. I would hit create post, and then I would see it right here. Now, this is just an example of a status update that I pulled from my page post. You do have the option to use a post from your page if you don't want to create the new unpublished post. Conversion tracking is a must do. There is a blog post that I will link to under this video about exactly how to set up conversion tracking. It takes all of 10 minutes, so please do it before you start giving Facebook your money without being able to know if those ads are really working or not. If you scroll down some more, you'll look at placement, mobile devices. My advice I use Newsfeed, desktop and mobile, and I leave the all mobile devices selected. So then you have to choose your audience, and by audience they mean who do you want these ads to be shown to. This is pretty standard. You've got your location. You can, you can put in a state, a city, a zip code. You can 
uh, target by age. You can do like a range or a one specific age if, if your product or service really can only be utilized by a certain age group. Gender, maybe your target audience is majority of women. So don't spend your ads targeting men as well as women if you only get a male customer or client every once in a while. It just doesn't make sense for you to put your money into that. Languages means what language do these people have their Facebook account in. And precise interests is where it gets really juicy. Basically, you can put in things like cooking or traveling, but what you want to do here is identify who are your competitors. What are other Facebook pages that your target audience might like? So for me, in my case, I'm targeting small business owners. What are other pages that small business owners probably like? Um, well, I would definitely say LPR social media, maybe Marie Forleo. Now here you've got two options. You could choose the one with the hashtag or the one without. I always go for the one without because if I understand correctly, the hashtag means this interest or similar. And I'm not interested in or similar. I'm trying to target specifically. So maybe Chris Carr and other similar businesses to mine. Uh, Kissmetrics is another good one. And so this doesn't mean these people will like every single one of these pages, but they might like one of them. And if they do, then my ad should be shown to them according to Facebook. And here you can see that Facebook tells me approximately how many people my ad could be shown to. So I like to get this number up to about 50,000 minimum to 200,000 maximum. If it's more than 200,000 people, I want to segment my audience down more so I can get a better sense of, of what's working. Is it the people between 20 and 40 or 40 and 60? So that, those are different ways to segment these ads. See how by opening up the age, I'm able to target a lot more people. Broad categories, uh, a couple that I like to choose are small business owners, for example. But notice how that number, which was up to over 100,000, came down to 34,000 people. So broad, broad categories is a great way to segment down this huge potential audience that you've come up with, if that's the case. And finally, connections is one of the most important parts of creating a really kick-ass Facebook ad. Why? Connections just means, do these people like your Facebook page already? So if I'm trying to build my list, I don't want to target people who are already my fans. And that's target users who are connected to. Because as you can see, you only have the option to choose your own page. So if I'm trying to sell something, I'm absolutely going to target my own fans because they already know me. We've go, gone through the no like, and trust process. But if I'm just trying to get more brand awareness or get people onto my list, then I don't want them connected to me already. I do, however, want their friends. So I would definitely select these two options in my audience. Finally, optimization and pricing. I will break this down for why you should choose optimized CPM. I don't want this video to get too long because there's really a lot that I want to show you. But I highly recommend go with optimized CPM and just use default bids. So the other really great thing about the Power Editor, like I mentioned, is that you can save audiences. So we put together this audience. Maybe I'm just going to add a couple more countries to keep it interesting. And I'm going to take out these connections because 
nobody likes the, that page but me. It's just for an example. So now I want to save this audience. How do I do it? I go back up here to save audience. And I give it a name. The name that it automatically pulls is the same name as the ad. So you definitely want to change that. Uh, small biz owners. I'm going to name it. So that means later on, I can come back here. Now I'm in audiences. I can come back here and I can just click on create ad using audience. If I don't want to go through the work of putting together that whole audience again. But the other really terrific thing that you can do with the Facebook uh, Power Editor is you can duplicate ads really easily. So I click on one ad, I then click duplicate. This is gonna ask me which campaign I wanna put it in. I'm gonna leave it in this campaign because uh, I might just have the same objective and I like to split up my campaigns by objective. But you can separate and duplicate ads into different campaigns if you want. For example, if you want to have one ad targeting your fans and one ad targeting friends of your fans. So you could just duplicate it and change the campaign and everything else would stay the same. So here you can see I've got the same name, 1A, but with two after it. So I'm just gonna rename it. And the reason I might want to do this is because maybe I want to test the same exact copy, but a different image. So I would just come into create new unpublished post, go to photo, drag a new image in there, copy and paste the same exact copy and the link and click create post. Everything else stays the same. So I don't need to worry about figuring out the placement or the audience or the optimization of pricing. It's all exactly the same as before. So now I'm gonna delete this one ad because I didn't end up doing anything with it. And the easiest way to delete is to just highlight the ad and click delete on your keyboard. So now I just have these two ads. In order to actually publish the ads, I need to submit them to Facebook for review and then they will start running my ads depending on the schedule I set up. So how do you submit them? Just by clicking Upload Changes. And in this case, I've got errors because I didn't correctly fill out every single ad just to save some time, but I'm going to click Upload All Ads. And that is how you use the best and most important features of the Power Editor. I'm sure that you have more questions or you've tried a couple things out and aren't sure about what you should do. Please leave those questions in the comments below so that I can make sure they get answered and also update this video as necessary. And if you liked this mini tour, go ahead and share it with some people who are also struggling with Facebook ads and really getting the most out of their money. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed this tour.